I recently came across a rather strange problem on my 4G LTE router. I used to get a signal strength of a full 5 bars and then uh, one day it just jumped down to 3. And uh, I didn't know what happened. I checked the connections, I checked uh, if the wiring was okay and if there were any RF sources in my house that were turned on. And uh, I found the neighbor next door had installed a strange uh, dish on his house pointing directly at mine. And uh, I suspect this is a 5 gigahertz dish and uh, some other service provider locally I'm not sure which one it is but uh, I suspect that uh, that dish and that equipment is causing interference on my router. Maybe it's swamping the input with a rather strong signal coming from the dish or perhaps there's a problem with it and it's uh, generating harmonics and interference. I found an old satellite dish that I wasn't using anymore and that got me to think that possibly I could use it uh, to solve this problem making a high gain 4G LTE antenna. So uh, there it is, the old dish and uh, I've removed the Allen B over there. So what you'll need is an unused satellite dish, some of this uh, self-fusing tape. I don't know what it will be called in your country, but what I like about it is it's uh, watertight and UV resistant. Then you'll need a 4G external antenna. This one that I purchased here yeah, is for indoor use, but that will work just fine. Then you'll need some old coax, I used the RG58 in this case and I stripped off the outer layer which I used later, I'll show you where I applied that. And uh, the 4G external antenna will be mounted in place of the LNB. Over here I used it as a proof of concept to see if I get a stronger signal. And, uh, I took the cable that came with the router 7 meters of uh, RG174 and I inserted it into the outer sleeve of that coax just to give it some protection against the elements. And then I applied a single layer of the self-fusing tape to the external antenna and then I sealed off uh, where the cable enters the antenna just to give it some uh, waterproofing and UV protection it is an indoor antenna and then I mounted it there where I removed the Allen B with a single wrapping of the self-fusing tape and then I strapped down the two coax cables to the arm. Then I used this application, I'll include a link to it in the description below, cellmapper.net and uh, I live in South Africa so this is uh, our service providers here locally and uh, I live in this region of here, I'm just selecting a random location. I want to give away my address obviously. And then you can use this to determine in your area where the towers are. And then uh, you turn your dish pointing to those towers and uh, when you get a strong signal you know you're on the right one. And then also it's important to note that uh, the satellite dishes typically uh, have the Allen B at an angle so we have an angle of incidence and reflection and uh, this is uh, pointed up to the satellite so what we need to do is uh, point the dish down so that uh, it lines up with the horizon to where the cell tower is and there it is uh, I've mounted the external antenna the coax is strapped down nicely and I've tilted the dish down. 
and there's a close-up view of the installation and then what you need to do is uh, in my case I've got a Huawei B535 router remove the cover at the back and uh, connect the two coax connectors to the two inputs uh, those are used for transmitting and receiving so we've got transmit and receive perpendicular to one another so they don't interfere when they operate at the same time then you go to your routers admin console a login over there and you go down to the system settings to where you can select external antennas and you click on save so let's have a look at the signal strength measurements to see if there was an improvement uh, this is in the uh, router console and uh, without the external antennas I was getting uh, 3 out of 5 bar signal strength. There are the measurements I obtained and uh, obviously for privacy I've just uh, blackened out my personal details there. We'll have a look at these comparatively looking at uh, the external antenna measurements. So then I connected up the external antenna, switched it over in the software and I got 5 out of 5 bar signal strength. And uh, these are the measurements I obtained there. Now we're looking at a table comparing the before and after measurements and I used the chart top right from uh, customercradlepoint.com to give me an idea of the improvement that was made so in the RSRQ I made about a 1 dB improvement and uh, I think I can actually improve that by tilting the dish further down I think uh, it's still pointed up a bit too high and uh, for the RSRP the signal strength a 14 dB gain which is quite good and uh, RSSI a 16 decibel gain. I think uh, the equipment next door is uh, swamping this area of my router so it's quite crucial that I get the dish spot on to the tower. So I'll get back up on the ladder and uh, I'll try some more adjustments but this is just to give you an idea. I was down here in the fair to a region of the chart and I've gone up to the a good to fair area of the chart so well worth the effort so in conclusion yes it does make a difference uh, you can install this antenna indoors as well if you like if you don't like working on ladders up in an attic or loft or in a spare room close to uh, the uh, tower so do remember if you do opt to do this on your roof and you're working on the ladder be careful please don't uh, fall and injure yourself or even worse so you do that at your own risk thank you for watching I hope uh, this helps you bye bye for now